Joining me now from Washington, D.C., contributing editor to Newsweek, Peter Roth. Uh, Peter, Biden's been all over the place. I think they're trying to confuse voters on where he actually stands because he doesn't want to tick off the radical leftists, and he also doesn't want to scare away the moderates, especially in states like Pennsylvania and also Texas. That's exactly right. I mean, Biden's tried to hang this on a, on a single word, ban fracking. I won't ban fracking. He might not ban it, but he'd tax it and regulate it out of existence. He's been very clear. He wants an end to U.S. dependence on fossil fuels within 20, 25 years. If you do that, you eliminate fracking, and you eliminate all the jobs that go with it. And as far as Biden's concerned, all those hardworking people with good jobs at good wages in the oil fields can go learn to write code. Yeah. I, I wonder if Biden knows how to code because he, he makes it seem like it's so easy. It's really not, I don't think it's that easy. Um, but that being said, we have I'm not sure he knows how to turn on a computer. <laughs> I'm not sure he knows what state he is. And, and uh, over the weekend, he was a little bit confused about who the president was. We'll get to that in a second. But we have video of Biden all over the place on fracking. We'll play it for our audience in case they don't believe me. Roll tape. We're losing a lot of jobs overseas. We're losing a lot of jobs from the pandemic, especially if fracking is on the chopping block. How, how are we going to help these displaced workers? Well, fracking is not going to be on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the chopping block, as you say. No more, no new fracking. Well, like, what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yeah. the pipes? Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in the Biden administration? No, we would, we would, we would work it out. Yeah, we're going to just work it out. So what's going to power up Biden's private jet? And also, um, you know, is he going to move from his mansions to like a teepee or something? We are totally reliant on fossil fuels. And at the end of the day, like, yes, we care about the environment. Yes, we want to live in a, in a clean country with clean water and air. But there has to be a balance here. We can't kill all our jobs. Uh, and also, it doesn't really do anything when the Chinese and the Russians and everyone else benefit from this. They, they still contribute to climate change and, quote, global warming and global cooling, too. That's, exa that's exactly right. And they're in the prime Paris Climate Accord that President Trump pulled out and is nobody is covering. U.S. carbon emissions now are below the Paris Climate Accord targets. China, Russia, India, way above the targets. We're already below because of technology, because of innovation, because of the strong economy that Donald Trump created that, Don that Joe Biden wants to destroy. Yeah, and you think of just what the Obama administration did when it came to, like, these, like, green companies and investing, like, Solyndra it was, like, one of the biggest scams I've ever uh, read about. I mean, that was, like, what, $500 billion, crazy amount of money, Billion, and we got billions, nothing. Billions of dollars. Yeah. Democratic donors got rich. The taxpayers got left holding the bag, which, by the way, seems to be the Biden pattern. Yeah. From what we know from the Hunter Biden emails that have been disclosed by the Washington Post and verified by the man who says he sent them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, definitely something that needs to be looked into a little bit more. Of course, mainstream media is ignoring it. They say, oh, it's the Russians. They're trying to ruin uh, Biden's campaign. But uh, if anything, wouldn't the Russians want Biden to be president because it'd be a little bit easier for them? Uh, now, we were talking about how Biden has... Uh, hard time kind of remembering who the president of the United States is, and we have video of it. Roll tape. What kind of country we're going to be? Four more years of George, uh, George, uh, he uh, is going to find ourselves in a position where if uh, Trump gets elected, uh, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be in a different world. Wow. <laughs> And I get it. Like I said, public speaking is difficult. No one's perfect. People make mistakes all the time. But Biden does this all the time. And you have to think about this is the guy who would be the face of our country doing deals with dictators and meeting with people around the world. And he can hardly even put together a sentence once in a while. Well, it's, it, it seems that way. And, and it's certainly a fair uh, issue for discussion. I'm not going to I'm not going to make suggestions about what I uh, what the vice president's, the former vice president's mental state is. Uh, but I, I do think that the American people have a right to be concerned that he simply may be a placeholder for Senator Kamala Harris, um, who couldn't get the nomination on her own, so she may be being maneuvered into the White House um, in, in another fashion. But, but more than that, there's a clear contrast here. Biden has plans that are on the website that he won't talk about. He won't talk about them because he knows it'll cost him votes. But what President Trump wants to do, what former Vice President Joe Biden wants to do, 
are radically different agendas for America. Do we want to unleash the power of the American mind and American innovation and American ingenuity to raise living standards and create jobs in America, or do we want to live under restrictions that say you can't do this and you can't do that and you have to buy your health care from the government and we're going to tax everybody uh, and spread the, spread the wealth around, as Barack Obama said famously in 2008 to Joe the Plumber. That's the choice. That's the choice um, in, in this coming election. And it's unfortunate that we're having this constant battle about, about allegedly about character. Uh, when it's it's really just the mainstream media colleagues of mine um, being in the tank for Biden. Yeah. It's distressing. You worry about character, but you also worry about energy. Those type of things are important. Apparently, he's done campaigning until after the election. We look at what President Trump today, three campaign rallies. And so uh, Trump has just so much energy and he keeps going. And, you know, Biden might have his reasons. Number one, maybe he doesn't want to have any more gaffes on the campaign trail. He probably doesn't want to talk about the laptop from hell. Uh, and also, he's got a comfortable lead in the poll, in the polling, of course, if you believe the polling. Uh, but I, I think if I was him, I'd try a little bit harder because some of these swing states, it's uncomfortably close for him. And you know we can't totally trust the polls. Anyways, Peter, we got to run. Thank you. That's right. Thank you, Stephanie. Thanks.